Well, let's move on now to Ghana, where President Nana Kufo Addo has delivered his last State of the Nation address ahead of the general elections in December. He is promising a better economy if he stays in power for the next four years. The president attributes the boost in Ghana's economy over the last three years to financial reforms. Well, CGTN's Nabil Ahmed Rufai reports from Accra. The moment a president tries to convince his country to keep him in power, the president says his government has spent $3 billion to reform the banking and financial sector in order to improve the economy. How economic growth has rebounded to place Ghana among the fastest growing economies in the world for three years in a row at an annual average of 7% GDP growth, up from 3.4% in 2016, the lowest in nearly three decades. Yeah. The international investor community has recognized this development, resulting in Ghana today being the largest recipient of foreign direct investment in West Africa. The president also says he's working to resolve Nigeria's land border closure, which has hit many businesses in Ghana. Nigeria closed its border to Benin last year in a bid to crack down on smuggling. We're playing a positive role the efforts being made within ECOWAS to bring this boundary impasse to an end, which will hopefully be sooner than later. Meanwhile, opposition lawmakers refused to be part of the State of the Nation address. They walked out of parliament before the president started his presentation in protest against his style of leadership. They accused him of stifling media freedom by shutting down some television and radio stations linked to the opposition party. We consider President Nana Adudankwa an eminent threat to the sustenance of the democracy in some of his actions. Since becoming president, Nana Adudankwa has conducted affairs of state with some kind of tyranny and authoritarianism. Parliament is expected to debate the president's address next week. With just about 10 months to the general elections, President Ekufuado has a huge task of improving the economy further and making life better for citizens. This is something many Ghanaians will be considering while making a decision whether or not to retain him in power for the next four years. Nabil Ahmed Rufai, CGTN, Accra, Ghana.